Selection Sunday has came and went, and we finally know which teams will be dancing into March and who will be their opponents. But March Madness is all about the upsets, and if you want to pick them right, you need to know which teams can actually pull it off and why. So here is everything you need to know about the teams that can bust your bracket. Because an upset is so much sweeter when you called it before it happened. First things first, all upsets are not the same. Because sometimes the underseeded team is actually supposed to win, even if the selection committee doesn't know it. Your upset picks should be viewed in three categories. The good upset picks, the better upset picks, and the best ones. For that final group, I like to call those 50-50 games, because they can go either way. So keep watching till the end of this video, because I'll give you those three teams later. Starting off with the good upset picks. These are teams that should have about a 10 to 15% chance of winning their first round game, regardless of whoever they're playing. Those teams are Kennesaw State, Montana State, UC Santa Barbara, and Louisiana Lafayette. You could do worse than to pick them, but regardless of how many wins they have, none of them are against anybody of note. But these teams have at least held their own for a half of basketball against some legitimate opponent. Go with your gut on these, but I don't blame you for not trusting them. The better upset picks are the ones that have at least a 25% chance of pulling out their first round game. Teams that dominated their conference this season and might have beaten a power conference opponent as well. Those teams are UNC Asheville, Oral Roberts, Colgate, and Furman. Regardless of their conference, these are actually good teams. And if their opponent plays an average game, and they play well for what they have, they should win that game in confidence. Colgate and Furman beat Syracuse and South Carolina by more than 10 points. So regardless of whoever you choose in these games, it should be entertaining to watch. And before I give the best upset picks, I need to address the teams I didn't mention. Any team seated between 12 and 15 has at least a 5% chance of winning their first round game. So if I did not mention their names, the team is in that category. Pick any of those teams if you want to, because it's your bracket, not mine. And for the 16 seeds, I only give them a 1% chance of winning a game, because it's only happened one time. Shout out to the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and they're not making an appearance this year. Now for the best upset picks, the teams that I stand behind, the ones that have a 50-50 shot of getting out of the first round, and I'll tell you why for each. Kent State has 28 wins on the season and only three non-conference losses. Two of those are to Houston and Gonzaga by seven points or fewer. And their third loss is to the next team on this list, the Charleston Cougars, by two points. And Charleston has won 31 games this year, beating not only Kent State, but Virginia Tech. And their one non-conference loss is to North Carolina in a game they were winning at halftime. And the final team in the best category is the Drake Bulldogs. They beat Mississippi State back when they were ranked in the top 15. And they've only lost two games this year by more than 10 points. But remember, every team in the tournament has a chance to win, even if that chance is slim to none. Trust your gut and make your picks, because you can't get the upsets right if you don't have it in you to make the pick at all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm always here to help you get one step closer to the college offers you deserve. If you want to see more content like this, then please like or subscribe.